Hello, my name is Mike Geig, and welcome to my video on list box variations, which is a part of my series on Windows programming with C Sharp. I was originally going to make a video about both the checked list box uh, and a video about the combo box, but then I realized those videos wouldn't be very long uh, because there's not a whole lot extra to be said about them that we haven't already said about the list box. So I'm combining the two together, and we're going to cover both of them in this single video. Uh, now we're going to start with the checked list box. Now the checked list box is the, basically a combination of a list box and checked buttons uh, or check boxes, uh, which will allow us to to select more than one in more of a check box form instead of having to hit or hold down control or shift to select multiples like we did in the previous one. So this this control is more uh, geared towards selecting multiple items at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to go to my toolbox here. And I'm going to find the checked list box. I'm just going to drop it down here. And we'll add a couple items to it. Uh, I can add items to it programmatically the exact same way uh, as a list box. So I'm not going to go through all those steps. Uh, there's really nothing different about retrieving data or treating, retrieving items, adding items, deleting items. That's all exactly the same. Um, we'll add a Bart. We haven't seen a Bart ever. Uh, and we'll throw a Carl since we've been dissing on him in previous videos. All right, so there we go. Uh, so we got Mike, Tom, Bart, and Carl. And if I run this, I'm going to notice a couple things. First is there's these check boxes next to this. The second is that when I click one, it doesn't get checked until I click it again. And I click one, and then I click it again. And I click one, and I click it again. There's a property that controls that that I'm going to show you here. But basically, we can check and uncheck as many as we want. Okay. Uh, so first things first. That's really annoying having to, to double click to check anything. So with my list, uh, with my checked list box selected, I'm going to come up and I am going to find check on click right here. So I'm just going to select that as true. So check or check on click is now true. And when I run it, we only have to click once. Okay, great. All right. Now the big difference between uh, the the uh, checked list box and the uh, normal list box is that by selecting an item you're not necessarily or I'm sorry by checking an item or unchecking an item you're not necessarily selecting it you're there's basically two collections there's a collection of things that you have selected and a collection of things you have checked all right uh, so for instance what I'm gonna do is I am going to create this button here and I'm just gonna have the button say message box that show checked list box one dot selected item dot two string just like that okay and I'll show you exactly what I mean so I'm gonna run this and I'm going to check Mike and I'm gonna hit button one and we see Mike now I'm gonna select Tom I'm gonna hit button one and now we see Tom alright Mike is checked but we see Tom because Tom is actually the one selected now I'm gonna uncheck Mike and we see Mike again, even though Mike isn't selected at all, right? Uh, Carl, you know, uh, uncheck Carl, right? So it has, the selected item has really little to do with the items that are checked. The, what we use is the checked items property of our checked list box, which is another collection which we can iterate through. So if I wanted, I could say string output string equals nothing and then for each string name in check the list box one dot checked items all right that's the collection of all the items that are checked and inside that I would just say output string plus equals uh, name plus space all right and then here we're just going to output output string computer froze up there for a second okay there we go output string all right now I'll go ahead and run this and now I will say check Mike and Bart and we see Mike and Bart I will check Tom uncheck Mike we see Tom and Bart check Carl uncheck Bart we see Tom and or Mike Tom and Carl because Mike selected so now we're iterating through the items that are checked so it's not so much that we're selecting all of them we can select items and we can check items and sometimes they're the same and sometimes they're not all right it just all depends on your settings and what you're actually doing and what the user's doing and stuff like that so 
that's one difference. It's pretty much the only difference between a checked list box and a regular list box. Is a checked list box just allows you to check things, and it's, it's easier to select multiples, all right, uh, instead of having to control click and select multiples that way. Okay, so that is our checked list box, and that's pretty much what I have to say about that. So let's come back here, and we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to add something called a combo box. I'll just click here. I'm going to add some items here. And again, we'll do Mike, Tom, John, Bart, Bob, whatever. All right. And I'll just run it so you can see natively how it functions. Uh, we see this. This should look familiar. And we've got all these items we can choose. All right. Just like that. And we can also type something in. All right. And I'm going to talk about that. Now, the big thing about the combo box is something called drop-down styles, okay? Otherwise, they work very similar to the list box with selected items and things like that. So here, inside the button click event, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type message box dot show combo box dot selected item dot two string. All right, I'm going to show you something here. And we're going to go ahead and run this. And I am going to select John. And I see John, and I'm going to select Bob, and I see Bob. All right. Now, one really cool thing we can do with this combo box is we can type in our own value, right? But look what happens when I click the button. My program crashes. Okay. I didn't have something selected. I simply had typed in a value. All right. So the combo box a little bit different than the list box. Instead, if we want whatever is in the the box like a text box, we would have to say combo box dot text, just like a text box. So a combo box is kind of a combination between a list box and a text box. So if I run this and I say pick John, I see John. But if I type um, Jeremy and hit button, now I see Jeremy because I'm treating it like a text box, the text value. Okay. So now that we see that, let's talk a little bit more about the style of the combo box. So with the combo box selected, I want to look at this thing called the drop-down style right here. And there are three types of drop-down styles. The first is simple. The first is not the one we've used yet. We've used drop-down so far, so I'm going to go simple. And you'll see with simple, what we get is instead of a, a, a drop-down, we get a full listing where we can also type in. Okay, it still works. It's just formatted a little bit differently. The next style I want to look at uh, is drop down, which we just saw. This is the one we've been working with. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we have this thing called drop down list. All right. Now, drop down list is a little bit more concrete. It's a little bit less like a text box. Well, it's a lot less like a text box and more like a list box. So I'm going to hit play here. Uh, and now we see that I can pick one of these, but I cannot enter my own. There's no way to type. It still works with the text. Uh, combo box one dot text, right? But I cannot type in my own. All right. So those are the three styles of the combo box that make them pretty neat and pretty versatile. Okay, so that's going to conclude my video on the list box variations. In this video, we talked about the checked list box. We talked about the checked items collection inside of that. We talked about the combo box, and we talked about how we have to use the combo box dot text property, and not necessarily the selected items property to make it work. And we also talked about the three drop down styles: the simple uh, drop down and drop down list.